Hello friends and welcome to Studio Sundays where I hang out in the studio, film a video, and then I post it on a Sunday. My name is Paige. I'm an artist, I guess, and I work for a CEO named Blue. <laughs> and today in the studio we are going to be adding slip, which is all of these. I made all of these to this mug. And then we will also be adding some slip to some cat dishes that are for my sister's cat's birthday. Also, I unloaded my kiln this morning, so I'm going to show you guys a few pieces from that batch. All right, let's get into the stuffs. All right, my dudes. So this mug is for my sister's graduation, and I'm very proud of her, so I wanted to make a mug for her. And we worked on this last video, episode one, if you're interested in how I added the handle or anything like that. But right now I'm just gonna sponge it down, smooth it out a little bit, and then we will add some slip. I am excited. All right, when I'm working on a piece for a very long time, I like to lift it up. How's my posture? My posture still sucks and my back still hurts, but we try our best. I'll show you my really shitty fast drawing. It's shitty and fast, but it gets the idea out there, you know. Um, I did this in Procreate. I do all my overlays and all my emotes and all my transitions. And they don't charge you monthly. You don't get that nowadays. This is my plan. My twin sister is graduating next week. She's getting married this year and she just bought a house, got a cat named Dewey. I wanted to paint each element into the mug of the things that she's accomplished in the last few years and then do squigglies. I'm also putting the words I'm proud of you just on the rim so every time she drinks it it says I'm proud of you on it and I thought that would be cute. I feel like the house the graduation hat and the ring will be easy it's just dewy will be kind of hard but we'll try our best. I might have to go in with some underglaze later once it's dry and stuff but we could get a base. All right so first we start with the bottom. I put a sun on the bottom of every mug. So I use this tool for that. If you're interested, it's just, I don't know, tool with a little hoop. Scoop out the center and then I use the same tool to make little lines in the clay. Boop, boop. Sound effects are good. That's what her sun looks like. Sometimes it's a little off-center and I don't mind when it's off-center, honestly. Plop some yellow in the center there. Boop. All right, there we go. We got a sun. Every great mug starts. How we shake them. We're gonna start with some orange squiggles, do some blue squiggles, do some dots, and then we'll go in and do fun details. Hello friends, this is Paige from the future. I forgot I wanted to show you guys these things I made in my last video, but when I was editing it I realized I didn't show you guys. So I have these little things that I nailed on my wall. It's all of my clays. I have three different clays so far, but it shows you what the slips are gonna look like once they're fired. So this little slug slime here, that's clear. And then I did another line of Gerstly Borat wash that I made. And then I did another line of soda ash that you can't really see. And then I just labeled what the mason stain number was. These just helped me out. I also did the same ones for underglaze. So I can look on my wall, it's over there. It's nice to have a little color palette just on the wall that I can reference and look at for what colors I like. So I just want to show you guys that. Let's get back to the past page, see what she's up to. All right, here's our orange squiggle. I go over with the slip two or three times. I like it to be thick because I like to feel the slip, a little texture. Let's move on to the blue squiggle. Get the blue squiggle going. I was gonna take this time to tell you how I made this slip. I dried out a stoneware clay. I ripped it off in a few pieces, to let it dry. Put it in these jars, added water and a little bit of vinegar, and let it sit overnight and dissolve the clay a little bit. And then I added one quarter pound of mason stain and then I just blended it with a hand mixer I got from Value Village. Put it through a sieve and I called it a day. There's a blue squiggle. Then we'll add some dots and all I do is dip a brush and do this about a million times. Definitely editing all of that out. And bam we got, got some green dots. Actually it's a Bermuda, whatever that means. Um, then we'll go in with some yellow dots in the in-betweens. All right, so here's our yellow polka dots all lined up. We can start mapping out where we want all our 
other items to be. I do love this shape. To make it easier, I'm just going to take a little pin tool and I'm going to lightly mark out where I want the things to go. Um, that way I can sponge off the lines if I mess up. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you how that goes. All right, so I mapped out where I want everything to go. So we got a house over here. We got a ring over here. We got a dewy face over there. And then a little graduation hat. And then I think I'm gonna do flowers in between all of the things. Now I'll, st I'll start with the graduation hat because it's the easiest. All right, here's the graduation hat. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna add some highlights so it doesn't look like black blob. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna move on to the house. Okay, so here's the little house. I kind of marbled black and white together because I don't have gray. But I just did a black roof and a red door. Pretty simple, but cute, you know? It looks cute, but it's simple. I'll do the ring next. All right, here's the ring. It's too bright and it's shiny. But once it's dry, I'll show you guys again. Now we're gonna work on Dewey. I'm gonna base Dewey out in a white and try to get some color in there. Try to let all of this dry and do some details in later. All right, so here is our little Dewey. I hope it looks like him. It's hard to tell because when it's fired, the colors are gonna be different, but I feel like it's not bad for being painted in slip. And speaking of Dewey, let's see what the Dewey daily is today. I'm gonna add some whiskeys. Hopefully I don't regret it. I don't know why I'm a little bit impressed by myself. And my sister, she says she doesn't have a favorite color, but she totally does. It's red. That looks cute, huh? I'm gonna do the flowers, and then I will go in and add the highlights to the other stuff. I'll be right back. I added the flowers. I decided to carve in I'm proud of you around the rim. And then I also decided to carve in the dates of things. I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit. Fire it to bis, clear glaze over top, and then fire it again. Hopefully she likes it. I just wanted to say Summer is the most important person in my whole life. We have been through a lot together. I don't know what I would do without her, so I hope she enjoys her mug. So insert all the cute photos that I have, and then I will also insert a drawing that I made that encompasses what it means to be a womb-mate. All right, switching gears. We're just gonna add some color to the Dewey dishes. I hear that he likes blue and green fish. Thinking of just putting some blue and green fish in the bottom. I think that'd be cute. And then maybe just some paw prints on the sides. But first I'll sponge it down a little bit, smooth it out, and then I will get the fish going. I'll show you how, how they look. Be back, friends. So here's what I did. I added some paw prints. Kind of like how simple it is. And then on the inside, what I've done is I've painted some fish. They kind of look lame on camera, but they are cool. I added some bubbles and some like little ripple lines. And once the slip is dry, I think I'm going to go and carve in the eyes and more of the fin detail. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to go ahead and do the second one. Okay, so here is the second one. Looks pretty much the same. So now I just have to wait for the slip to dry so that then I could carve both of these. All right, while we're waiting for those to dry, let's hear a message from our very own CEO, Blue. You guys are friends. She's the motorcycle. Freaked mm. everyone out. Do you want to go inside? Do you want to go inside? Your cat friend went back, back inside. Look at her tail. It's poofy. She poofy. All right. Let's see if these are ready to, to carve into. This one's pretty much dry. 
So I'm just going to take, I think, this tool and I'm going to carve the eyes and then some details on the fins and things. See you in a few seconds. Alright, I, I kind of like it. It's simple, but it's nice. Little fish there, you know, hanging out, swimming by. Just do the second dish, show you that. Okay, so here's the second one. Bam! Alright, so before we end off, I'd like to show off some mugs from the last batch that I pulled out of the kiln. Can you say hello? Say hello! Okay, so let me show you guys before too much cat hair gets on these. Some of my faves, some of my favorites. Here's one. I really enjoy this one. Blue, what do you think? Blue likes it, I think. There's little flowers on the inside. And then the squiggles. This one is porcelain. Little daffodils. And there's some flowers on the inside. I really love the shape of this one, the way it feels in my hand, my giant, giant hands that I have. <laughs> and I just love the polka dots and the squigglies. Here's another daffodil guy. Cute. Also the flowers on the inside. Here's one of the planters. I really like this planter. I don't know who's gonna buy it, what kind of plant is gonna be in it. I'm loving the wonkiness of things lately. So here's the other planter, strawberries. It's a little crooked, but I like it. I like. And then I did a few of these mugs, these hand-built, these hand-built guys. I love the style. I've been doing this kind of design with different colors and I don't like them. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me in the studio today. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and are taking care of yourselves and each other. And I hope to see you in my next video. Spin around. Sit. Shake. There you go. A good little CEO. Now say goodbye to all of your friends.